Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Kevin Naki here for the IGN Pro League, and welcome to another episode of the IPL Top 5 Plays. Now, this week, our replays come to us from the IPL Team Arena Challenge, the GSL Blizzard Cup, and the community. So let's go ahead and get started with number five. Yeah, it's like he's trying to decide what he wants to warp in here. Oh, oh eight zealots in the main from the warp Whoa. prism. He killed 12 SCVs. That's quite something. He's, he's going to go for a flank here. This is actually really smart considering that the tanks are at the back. They're a little bit undefended from the bunkers. But man, Virus just has so many bunkers at this point. He's got a total of eight bunkers. I don't think he's going to be able to break oh, this right now. The bunkers position. are a problem, but now he's engaging from two sides at a time, and the first bunker in the bag is already dead and gone, but the Sea Chang still do a good amount of damage, being attacked by the first Arcan now, though. Wow, Inca going for that, but Virus is killing a lot of units now. Yeah, he is, but it looks like Inca definitely coming out on top. Even going to save these Archons, most likely. I don't know, Wolf, you lost wow, a he's lot. Done it. Here at number four, we have Dignitas Select versus Complexity MVP Finale and Select. Bit by bit, he can get up a little bit as he moves in with a huge all-in. And look at the perfect force field split there from the tiny amount of sentries and immortals that were sitting there for Finale. He warps in a few stalkers and is able to hold off that push. And then with just incredible positioning on the high ground with an immortal, gathers up enough resources to push right through that tank line. That all-in for Select that should have outright killed Finale is shut down. And here at number three, we once again have Complexity MVP Finale, and oh dear God, deflecting those Banelings with those brilliant storms, setting up that positioning so well on his units. And watch this, he's gonna storm once again, blink back, and mitigates almost all of the damage from the Banelings. He trades incredibly cost-effectively against that gigantic army from Killer and wins the game. And here at number two, we have one of our favorite plays from the whole year. As our friend Thunder Toss sends us in a game from Complexity Minigun versus Core. Core just finishing up a bunch of Banelings, which are just getting speed as they start tumbling there, making their way in against these high energy sentries and beautiful force field donuts. Oh, and the Templar coming from behind, killing so many Banelings there. A brilliant use of force fields and storms. The planetary looks like it will be destroyed down there. He just finally survives an attack, but this planetary goes oh my down. God. It's still anybody's game, but DRG oh. seems to have the slightest lead. Oh. Six Broodlords on the way. And I don't know if there are enough Corruptors out to actually hold this. And the Marines running in now. Trying to take out those high ground tanks, trading that many Broodlords for Here that, come though. the Bane Links. Oh he needs to get those Marines. And nice targeting. He doesn't get the Marines. The Marines will clean this up. Now MMA taking a very strong lead. Oh my god, beautiful fungal growth! Beautiful fungals all over the place. He's got to be careful though, he can't lose all these investors. Oh, the Corruptors doing their best, but there may in fact be too many. Oh, oh my god! The Broodlords are now pushing here. He killed off every single Viking with that last fungal growth of his. DRG pushing 40 has less supply, but so many Broodlords yeah, are he left might, over. He might win a position game instead of an economic one if he could just get up there to where those barracks are. This is the craziest thing I have ever seen in my entire 14-year StarCraft career. I cannot believe what I'm seeing. DRG pushing Zerg to its limits, pushing into the main base, the production facilities. Does he have enough? Stuff? Sharklings are coming up here to try to defend. And these Marines are the last stand. He has a few sea chinks in here, helping out immensely. A few Vikings do come up. The last Corruptors of DRG. Can they hold this off? Still so much damage being dealt. Oh my god, oh my god the expansion. And, uh, and for DRG's when you take it off, they need to have no income. He'll no have no income, income left. DRG supply plummeting, even though it looked like he would break their JJ. MMA winning the greatest game of StarCraft 2 of all time. And what a beautiful way to end this year for StarCraft 2 and for eSports. With all right, guys, that wraps up this edition of the IPL Top 5 Plays. For more episodes, head over to IGN.com slash IPL. Now, everyone, have a very wonderful holiday season, and we'll join you guys for some more episodes in a few weeks. This is Kevin Naki here for the IGN Pro League, signing out.